Hello there for the second part of the Tetris tutorial. For this part we are going to work more on the game area. I want to draw a grid on top of it so we can actually tell what's going on. That should be fairly straightforward, let's jump right in. I want to create a separate method that we can call draw grid. This one doesn't need any custom parameters and all I really want to do is to create a for loop, let's call it for column in range and then I want to get my columns from settings. So I have 10 columns and 20 rows. For now, I want to work with the columns, which means range is going to be columns. This is going to give me the numbers from 0 to 9, because range starts at 0 and then goes up to this number but doesn't include it. And this information I can use, because Pygame allows me to draw random shapes. For example, what I can do is pygame.draw.line. You can probably tell from the name, this one is drawing a line. And it wants to have four arguments. The first one is the surface, then we want color, then a start position, and finally an end position. You can also specify a line width, although in my case, I don't really care about it. Let's go through it one by one. First of all, the surface we want to draw on. I want to draw on self.surface. The color we are getting from the settings because in there we have a line color variable, although this one is pure white. This I want to paste in there. And now we come to the actually interesting bit. We need to get a start position and an end position. Both of those need to be tuples, where we are specifying an X and a Y position. Now, the Y position for this one is quite easy. It's simply going to be zero. The game area I want to work in is going to look something like this. At the moment, we want to draw a couple of columns. Those would look something like this. We are going to have 10 in total. For each of these points, we are going to draw a line. That is what we are doing on this current line. For that, we have to specify a start position and an end position. At the moment, we are on the start position. So we want a start position for this line, this line, this line, this line, and so on. For all of these, the start position for Y is quite easy. It's simply going to be zero. However, for X, we want to move a bit further every time to the right. So this is the first X, then we have the second X, the third X, and so on. And to make that logic work a bit better, I want to work on a separate line. And let me clean all of this up so we can see what's going on. Basically, I want to create a separate X variable. And this is going to be the column, which I want to multiply by the cell underscore size. This is a variable we're getting from the settings all the way up here. It tells us how large a cell is, meaning how wide it is and how tall it is. In this particular instance, it would tell us how wide each column is. With that, we have the starting position. Next up, we need the end position. For that, we're going to use the same X number. However, besides that, we need a height or rather a Y position. That is going to be the height of this surface. That we can get quite easily. All we need is self.surface and then get underscore height. This is a function or rather a method, so make sure to call it. That covers then the final position. Now we have to specify a width. I'm gonna go with one and that should be all we need. After that, all we have to do is call this method. So self.drawgrid without any arguments. If I now run main.py, we are getting a couple of lines and this is working reasonably well. That being said, I do not like the line all the way on the left because on the side, we don't really need it. To get rid of that one, let me close the game. All we have to do is inside of the range function, we don't want to start at zero, we want to start at one. If I now run main.py again, this is looking quite a bit cleaner. All right. And with that, we have the columns. Next up, we are doing basically the same thing for the rows. This could be a pretty good exercise. Try to figure out how to draw the horizontal lines. Pause the video now and see how far you get. For row in range from one to the rows. Once again, the rows we're getting from settings.py. We have 
20 rows. For this one, we have to be aware of the Y position. This is going to be the row, so the number we are getting from the for loop, and then multiply this with the cell size as well. After we have that, I want pygame.draw.line, and then for the arguments, I want to have self.surface, I want to have the line color, now we need a start position and an end position. For the start position, we're going to start with zero, because we want to be on the left side of the surface. And then for the y position, we are using y, the variable we have just created. Then for the end position, we once again want to have x and y, and y we already have. x is going to be the right side of the surface, which we get with self.surface, and then get underscore width. With that, I can run main.py again, and there we go. This is looking pretty good for a grid. Although there's one major issue that I really don't like, and that is that this white color is a bit too strong. So ideally, I would like to reduce the transparency of this, but that we can't do very easily. These lines do not get an alpha value. What we have to do is paste them on a separate surface and then lower the opacity on that new surface. Basically what I want to do, this is going to start inside of the dunder init method. I want to, let's call this section the lines. First of all, I want to create a new surface that is called self.line surface. For that, we want to have a surface with the same dimension as the original surface, which we can do with surface.copy although this should be self.surface.copy. That way we have a copy of the surface that works on its own. This is the surface we want to draw the lines on, meaning inside of draw grid, I don't want to have the surface, I want to have the line surface. Although for that to show up, after these two for loops, we want to get self.surface and then blit this new surface the line surface and position can be zero and zero. Since the line surface and the surface have the same dimension, if we have a position of zero and zero, they are going to overlap perfectly. With that, we have more or less the same outcome. However, there's a bit of an issue. Right now, this surface is completely black with a couple of lines on top, but it does have a background color which means whatever we are placing on the actual surface is going to be hidden by this grid. For example, what we could be doing for this surface, I want to specify a fill color. And since we're going to update this later on, I'm going to fill it inside of the run method before we are drawing the grid. And let me add a section here that I'm going to call drawing. First of all, when we are drawing, I want to get the surface and then fill it with a color, the color being gray. If I now run main.py again, we were expecting a gray color, but the actual background color is going to be black. That is because of this grid, or more specifically, the line surface. If we do not call the grid method, let me comment it out really quick and run this again. Now, the game area has a gray background color, the same as the actual window, which means for the line surface, we have to figure out how to hide the black background. And the most common way of how you are doing that is, first of all, you get the surface and you fill it with one specific color that you know you are not going to use. In my case, I want to get the line surface and then fill it with a pure green color, which I'm getting with a tuple with zero, two, five, five, and zero, which means we have zero amount of red, zero amount of blue, and a full amount of green. With this tuple, we are creating a pure green color. And then next up, I want to get this line surface again and then set a color key. A color key basically tells this surface to hide this one specific color and do not show it under any circumstances. And for that, I want to use the same color again. So a tuple with zero, two, five, five, and zero. Although before that, let me actually show what this is going to look like. If we are filling this surface with a green color and we are running the method inside of main.py, we now have a green background. And this green background I want to hide, which I'm doing with the color key, which means if I now run main.py, 
we have simply the white lines left. Pygame is only going to hide the green color. And then finally with that, we can set an alpha value. So this alpha value we are going to get with self and the line surface. And on there, we can set an alpha value. The alpha value is going to go from zero all the way to 255, with 255 being no transparency at all. In my case, I went with 120. If I now run the game again, we have much less transparency, although this applies only to the lines. And I guess one more quick thing before we continue. At the moment, we only have the grid, but I want to have an area around it. Meaning I want to have some kind of frame so this looks a bit more grounded in the window. For that, I want to work again in game.py and this I can do with a rectangle. For now, the game doesn't have a rectangle, but I can give it one with self.rect and self.surface.get underscore rect. I also want to set a position. The top left should be where we have the padding and the padding. That way, this surface is going to be in the same position as the surface. Then I can minimize the dunder init method. And after we are drawing all of the game, I want to add one more line with pygame.draw. And now I want to draw a rectangle. This draw method is going to work somewhat similar compared to what we have done for the lines. I first of all need a surface, then I need a color, then I will need a rectangle, and then I can specify a line width and a corner radius. First of all, the surface has to be self.display surface. The color is going to be the line color or a pure white. The rectangle is going to be self.rect. Then for the line width, I went with two pixels. And for the corner radius, I also went with two. Once we have all of that, I can run main.py again. And now we have an outline. Next up, then, we can work on the actual tetrominoes.